What's up guys? You're watching the Sean Nicholas channel. Today we got Mix 2 of Boulevard for 2023. I'm very excited to go over this video. Boulevard is absolutely killing it this year. On that first mix, we got that Nissan uh, Skyline. Super nice, that Liberty Walk body kit. Drooling over that. That was the highlight of the first mix. Also, this Subaru WRX. Super nice. Love that yellow. Love that wheel color choice. Just looks so nice. They're doing a great job with all the Boulevard this year. Can't complain about it. So, highlight, definitely that EK9. Let's go ahead and go over it. We're gonna go in complete order here. We got 71 all the way up to 75. So let's go ahead and start off with the 1993 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. And this is a sweet looking rally car. Check out those white wheels. And I do believe we've seen those same exact wheels on that track day set. Yeah, look at that. Building a rally collection. Same exact wheels on the track day diorama Audi. So that's gonna look great next to each other. We're starting to really build that rally car set this year. So definitely gonna get this out of the package. Voila, there we have it. The details on this Ford Escort are absolutely stunning to that roll cage inside, to that back rear wing just looks so cool. And they didn't miss out on anything. They got the headlights, the fog lights, the tail lights, all the livery on it. That blue and white just looks super cool. Definitely a big fan of this Ford Escort RS Cosworth. And I love rally cars, so definitely gonna look great in the collection. Let's go ahead and park this Cosworth up right here in the frame <laughs> and let's go ahead and move on to that Volkswagen T1 panel uh, bus and this is going to be probably the second most popular car in this mix other than that EK9 that's going to be a very popular one everyone's going to gobble those up just like that Nissan Skyline uh, R34 from the Mix 1 Boulevard there you have it the T1 panel bus looks awesome to the T. Those five spoke chrome wheels look great. Awesome color choice on this with the white interior. I cannot complain. And the rear wheels tucked in there just looks so good. Lowered, stance, bagged, what, whatever you want to call it. It looks awesome. The rear plate says surf shop. It does have a white base and just super simple clean. All the Volkswagen guys are definitely going to go crazy for the T1 panel bus. All right, let's go ahead and park that stanced. T1 panel bus are right there. And let's go ahead and move on to the star of this mix. We got the 1999 Honda Civic Type R EK9. And uh, this is definitely gonna be the highlight of this mix with that white on white, looks so cool. Last year in 2022, that gold nugget is what everyone's calling it, but that gold super treasure hunt uh, EK9 are probably the highest price treasure hunt from last year. Actually, it is by far the most expensive treasure hunt from last year. I believe it goes for 120 plus dollars, but um, yeah, people were going crazy for those and they're definitely gonna go crazy for this uh, Boulevard EK9. Super clean. I have to say those six spoke white wheels look absolutely great on the casting. Uh, not too big, not too small, just looks super simple and clean. Um, the only details it's got on it is it says Chasing J's on that windshield, and then it's got the J and the C around it. I guess that's Chasing J's on the side door as well. Not exactly sure if that's like a, you know, company or brand. Let me know in the comments if you know exactly what Chasing J's is. It also says it on that rear plate. Um, nice details on this casting. It does have nice headlights, nice taillights, uh, red interior. Both passenger and driver's side windows are down. And I definitely dig that rear wing. All right, that is probably the start of this show, that EK9 looking stunning. Let's go ahead and park up that EK9 into the car show. Let's go ahead and move on to, oh, I love Chevy. This 1996 Chevy Impala SS, which stands for Super Sport. Check out that artwork. Also too, I forgot to mention, here is the barcode. If you're looking for that, go ahead and screenshot that. Have the employee scan it. Hopefully you guys find it. And on the back too, you can also find the complete set. So if you find one of these cars and you're wondering what you are missing, you can go ahead and use the back of the reference. All right, let's check out this 1996 Chevy Impala Super Sport. So clean with those chrome wheels. Wow. I definitely think this Impala Super Sport is gonna be an underrated casting. Those five spoke 
chrome wheels, big wheels look great on this Impala. Um, that's just the style we're going for with this Impala. I mean, that, it, that's at least the style that I would go for on this Impala. It's almost kind of like a donk build, but not really. Um, just looks so well, so clean, and just all that black looks good. It's got a lightly smoked window tint with that black interior and a black exterior. Just love the style they went with this Impala. It does have great details. Um, it's got the Chevy emblem on that front grille, and it also has headlights and taillights. All right, let's go ahead and park up this Impala Super Sport. So cool. And move on to the final car. No. That's right. We got the 04 Mazda Miata. Um, actually, a Mazda Speed Miata. Super clean with that red. I can't wait to get this out of the package. Just looks so cool. And it's also a convertible. So let's go ahead and get this open up. Look at that. Looks so clean. Definitely a good wheel size for this Mazda Miata. Um, love that red paint. That red paint almost looks like the Lotus Super from this year paint, like that Spectre Flame red. But it's not Spectre Flame paint, but just looks so rich and so nice. The details on this Mazda Miata look phenomenal. The headlights, the emblem on the front, the rear plate, the rear taillights, everything just looks good. And I love that interior because you can really see that interior with that uh, top down. Just looks so good. I'm so happy they did a convertible with this one. It just looks super clean. I would love to see a hard top in the future though. All right, that is the Mazda Miata. Looking super clean and small. All right, that is all the cars in this mix. I wanna know, which one's your favorite casting? Is it gonna be that rally car? That slam bus, the EK9, the Impala, the Mazda Speed Miata. What's it going to be, guys? Let me know in the comments who's the winner of this mix. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.